In Exodus 40, the tabernacle is completed. Everything has been prepared, and now it gets set up. Moses puts everything in place. Later, people die for looking into the ark or even just touching it. But here Moses is putting the commandment tablets inside and setting the ark in its place and putting the mercy seat on top of it. God's seat is above the ark, which holds the law and the promise. That's what his throne there is established on. God was king of the universe from the beginning, but now he's king in a new way. He's ruling among his people who have chosen to follow him as king. 1 Peter 3.15 says, Sanctify Christ as Lord in your hearts. We call Christ our Lord and Savior. As believers, we make him our king and give him the throne in our hearts. We submit to him as king, and he establishes his throne in our life on the law and on the promise. The promise is his presence for now and always. The law is love fulfilled in our lives and through our lives. If there is no expression of love, there is no law and no promise. We have nothing without love. We are deceiving ourselves that we have God's presence without it. Do you love your enemies? Do you pray for those who persecute you? Have you forgiven that someone who was once closest to you? Do you give without considering what you'll receive? Do you love without expecting your needs met in return? Do you love because you have to? There's no other choice in you. That's the love of God. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Those are the fruit the Spirit produces in a life. People grasp at these things through self-help techniques, but those who can live out these things selflessly, not because it benefits their life, are those who have surrendered to the Spirit to live love through them.